There are hundreds of fishing access sites in Montana, and we want to show them all to you. Hopefully this video will give you an idea of the area and maybe help you plan your fishing trip. Today we're going to go to Two Moon Park in Billings, Montana. I decided to start here for my first video because I live really close to Two Moon. I've been here a thousand times since I was a kid, so it was actually a lot harder than I thought to give an idea of what to expect. If you've never been here or planning to fish it for the first time, I hope this helps. Two Moon Park is a county park located in Billings. Access to the park is pretty straightforward. If you're in a vehicle, you'll turn off a main road and enter straight into the park. There's also a city bike trail that runs through the entrance if you're on foot or on a bike. When you're coming in, you actually descend down into the park, so there is a top and a bottom section to Two Moon. At the top of the park, there's an area with picnic tables and restrooms if you're looking to just hang out and have a nice time out of the house with the family. The road leading down into the park isn't paved, but it's not bad. You shouldn't need to use four-wheel drive to get in and out if you're visiting during spring through fall. Once you're down in the lower area of the park, there's plenty of parking available for both small and large vehicles. There is no boat ramp in the park, and getting a kayak in the river would require dragging it quite a way. If you're looking to get a watercraft into the river, there's much easier access points nearby, so I'd use a different location to put in. Two Moon is a great place for more than just fishing. There's plenty of trails for those looking to take a walk with their dogs or a bike ride, or just sit on a bench and enjoy the nature. Just remember that if you're visiting the park with your horse, make sure you clean up after that. A channel runs through the park that offers some great swimming if you feel the need to jump in some water. We didn't have many issues with bugs and pests when we were there in mid-August, but we did have more than a couple run-ins with wasps, so you might want to bring your favorite wasp killing devices and deterrents. There's definitely no shortage of wildlife to encounter once you get out of the parking area. All of that aside, we came for the fish. I fished the channel for a while and really didn't have much luck other than a couple of carp eyeballing my line, so it was time to make my way to the river. Two Moon has several paths that lead to the Yellowstone River, so getting on the water was a pretty easy walk. Once you make it to the riverbank, there's nothing but opportunity. There's a lot of accessible area you can walk down to find the spot that's right for you. I'm all about the catfish, so anytime I go fishing, I'm looking for a good cat hole. Once I drop that cat kit in the water, I'll usually throw a double jig set up and fish for anything that'll hit. In my experience, this is a good spot if you're looking for trout, bass, walleye, sauger, and of course, the channel catfish. You'll also catch your fair share of whitefish, carp, and suckers too, which can be a lot of fun and make for great cut bait. I didn't have any luck with the cats on this day, but I did put a bunch of bass on the grass, and really, any time on the river is a good time. I hope this video gave you an idea of what to expect from Two Moon Park. If you have any questions about the area or have something you'd want us to cover in future videos, leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching and good luck on the river.